Hi, I'm Scott Brody with Tiger Stop, and we're going to show you how you can determine your kerf for your system. When using the Tiger Stop in a push feed or pattern mode, your finished part is on the outfeed side of the blade. The amount of material that is removed by the saw blade when cutting is called kerf. This is how you determine the kerf for your particular application. Set the Tiger Stop to a particular length and make note of that. I'm going to go ahead and send the Tiger Stop to five and a half inches. I'm now going to bring my material up and I'm going to cut it off. Take the part that you've just cut and accurately measure it. Here I'm going to use a set of calipers. When measuring this part, I am measuring 5.503. I'm going to go ahead and write that on the part. That's my part length at this point, 5.503. Now what you will want to do is take this part and cut it in two. Does not have to be exactly in half. What you do want to do is cut it in two and we're going to put the two parts back together and measure that overall distance. The difference between that is your saw curve and the curve will determine how accurate your part is going to be. I'm going to make two witness marks. That is not necessary. I prefer to do it so I know where I'm cutting it. I have now cut the part into two. What I'm going to do is put the two halves back together, making sure that I've stayed consistent with the face. That's why I've put those marks there. Now I'm going to go ahead and measure the resulting part. I am now measuring 5.422. I will go ahead and write that number down, 5.422. My initial part length was 5.503. Now that I've gone and parted that, I'm at 5.422. The result of this, subtracting this, will be the saw curve in this application. 3 minus 2 is 1, 10 minus 2 is 8, 4 minus 4 is 0. So on this particular application, my saw curve is 0 .081. This is the setting you will use and enter under curve in the menu on the Tiger Stop.